YouTube, Kerry Ann here. Have I got a treat for you? Now, you know those days when you're just sitting around watching a movie, watching the football, watching the golf, whatever it is you watch and you just fancy something to munch on? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade chips and dips. They're great, they're super easy, super delicious. Kids love them, grown ups love them. Even the pets love them when you drop one after one too many beers. Let's get started. Step one, the chips. I've got here just simple, easy, you can find them anywhere and everywhere. Just a packet of flour tortillas. I'm going to chop those up into uh, chip size shapes. And I've got a nice solid roasting pan and I'm going to put these out on there. I've got an oven preheated already to 220 degrees and I'm going to shove these in it. Bosh! Now, we're going to make three kinds of dips today. The first one is a sour cream and chive. So in here I've just got a pot of sour cream, nothing fancy, nothing spectacular. And here I've got some chives. So I'm going to cut off a nice handful of chives. So we're going to just chop these up really finely and then we're going to go straight in to the sour cream. I'm going to add a generous pinch of salt, a generous pinch of pepper. I'm going to stir it up. Sour cream and chives, done. Now for dip number two, it's a tomato salsa. So I've got some tomatoes. So I'm just going to take the stalks off of these. We don't want any green bits or orange bits. We want them all red, but still firm. Now, for this recipe, I am using a food processor. Once this machine goes on, we are going to chop the life out of these poor little tomatoes, and they won't really know what's hit them. And now I've got a red onion. Basically, the ratio of onion to tomato is three parts tomato, one part onion. Okay, so we've blitzed our tomatoes and our onions real quick. Now I'm going to get a generous handful of coriander and I'm literally just going to chop this up. And I'm not finished chopping that yet, but I'm going to chop some chilli. I'm chopping together the chilli and the coriander. I'm going to throw it in to our tomatoes and onions. So in here with the chilli and coriander. A very generous pinch of salt because salt and tomatoes are best friends. I'm going to put a little bit of zest just because I think it might be quite nice. There we go, a nice bit of lemon zest. Some good olive oil. Just a, a glug like that. Some lemon juice. Now, doesn't that just look a million times better? Tomato salsa, done. Now it's time to make third and final dip, guacamole. I've got three Hass avocados, and they're ripe. Hass avocados are the very, very dark, almost crunchy shelled avocados. I'm just gonna cut them in half, and I'm gonna scrape out the middles directly straight into the blender. This is what I mean about crunchy shell. Can you hear it? It's so beautiful. I'm going to pulse it. I'm not going to just turn it on and let it go because I want it to be chunky but not smooth. But smooth but not chunky. <sighs> that looks pretty much how I want it to look. If you don't have a food processor, honestly, you can do this quite happily with a fork, uh, with a knife, with your teeth. <laughs> no, I'm joking, not with your teeth. And put it in a bowl, like that, and then I want to put a nice pinch of salt, a nice pinch of pepper, and just for a little extra kick, I'm going to add half a chilli. This is completely optional, you don't have to put it in but I love it. There we go. I'll put a nice drizzle of olive oil on top and a few 
coriander leaves. And there you have it, my friends. Bit number three, homemade guacamole. Let's get them chips out of the oven and serve this up. It's that easy. I can't wait. I'm going to have a go. Oh, watch. Guacamole. It's got to be. Mm. Seriously, guys, you have to try this. It's so easy, but so good and so effective. Your friends will love it. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. Tell me if you've got your own recipes for different kinds of dips. I'm always open to suggestion. Uh, click the link to subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I mean, it is free, so you haven't really got any reason to argue with me on that one. Uh, but until then, enjoy, have fun, happy cooking. See you next time. Hi, FoodTube, Kerry Ann here. Let's talk about smoothies. Kids love them, I love them, and hopefully, after this video, you'll love them too. Right, so I'm going to make a banana and kiwi smoothie. It is great.